Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Luke, and welcome back to my second channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you here. I post more chill content over here, vlogs, chatty videos, pretty much whatever I want. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've actually filmed this video twice before, but the first time I filmed it, the footage got corrupted, and the second time, the mic wasn't working. So the universe has really been trying me with this video. But anyway, so as you can see by the title today, I'm going to be telling you what all of my paintings mean. So these are five paintings that I painted in my senior years of high school. So I graduated high school in 2017. So these paintings were made two years ago. But the reason that I'm making it is because in my previous house, in the background of my videos, you guys used to see my paintings in the background. And I would get a lot of comments and questions about them and also a lot of requests of people asking me to make a video about what the paintings meant. So that is what I'm doing. So yeah, just a little bit of backstory. I've always liked art. When I was younger, I used to always draw and stuff like that, but it was never really that serious. But then I took art in high school and as the years went on, I started to taking it a lot more seriously to my senior years in grade 11 and 12 I took it very seriously and I spent a lot of time painting pretty much beyond just our art classes I would paint during lunch breaks I would paint before school I'd paint after school I would paint at home it was just such a nice escape and I loved it so much and I was so passionate about it and I really worked my little butt off I actually wish that I had my visual art diaries to show you guys because every time we did an artwork we had to journal the process and I don't have those anymore but I worked really hard on those as well and basically it all paid off I got an A for every single artwork and I came top of my art class so yeah just realizing now how braggy I sound but you know it is what it is so anyway let's just get into the paintings first painting that I ever did this is like oh no I did a painting before this in grade 10 but like I got rid of it because it was hideous I count this as my first painting that I ever did so this one is just acrylic and basically our prompt for that term was to do an artwork surrounded by collections and my dumbass didn't really listen to the task very well a lot of people in my class were doing like patterns and collections of things and sculptures with collections of this it was all about collections but I was really just fanboying at the moment. I was rereading Harry Potter and I really wanted to paint a painting about Harry Potter. So that's exactly what I did. So I did this painting with Hogwarts in the background. And as you can see, it's kind of got like a starry night in the background and it's got the full moon and it's just got like a very cool, dark, atmospheric sort of feel. And I don't know. Yeah, I just really like it. But there's really not much to say about this one because it doesn't have a ton of meaning. I basically just wanted to paint a Harry Potter painting. But once I painted Hogwarts and the landscape, my art our teacher was like to me like you know Luke this is a great painting but you know you have to put some sort of collection in it right or else you will not pass and I was like oh yeah that's true so I decided to just do like a collection of Patronuses even though they're all different Patronuses <laughs> my teacher was like super lenient on me because really looking back I don't think I really fulfilled the requirements of the task that well but I think because of the way that I journaled it and the artist statement that I wrote I could have butchered my way through the thing and somehow managed to get an A but that being said I still love this painting so much but it's probably the one out of all of these that just really does not hold much meaning it's pretty much just fan art so that being said let's go ahead and move on to the next painting alrighty so this next painting is this giant starry night landscape so this term our task was to do a emotive scape it didn't always have to be a painting basically you could do whatever sort of art form that you want I just always chose to paint acrylic on canvas because I found one thing that I was good at and I tried to stick to it I did try to do other stuff like I tried watercolor I tried oil painting I tried sculptures of various kinds like clay and metal but nothing really quite stuck like acrylic I just I don't know I love acrylic I love blending and just like the brush stroke it's just so relaxing but anyway so I did this emotive scape and basically the task was just to paint a landscape that made you feel some sort of emotion we were doing some pretty basic stuff back in grade 11 but I painted this landscape of a starry night again because once again I found something that I liked and I did it again and I was in my first relationship at the time and I was dating a girl that I was infatuated with which we are still friends to this day and I still think she's great but at the time I was pretty infatuated with her so I decided to like do like a little romantic painting of the two of us so I guess the emotion that I went with was romance always took the task super vaguely because our class to me was just like my fun class because all my other classes like legal studies biology maths and English were like you know all academic so this was more of my class where I got to chill and be a bit more creative so I would always take the tasks very loosely <laughs> but um we also had to go ahead and use different mediums in this one. So 
I only mixed three, I believe. I used, I don't really remember what the name of it is, but I used this thing where you like paint it on the painting and it like makes it textured and stuff. So I used that for the pillars and then I used super glue to create the vines on the pillars to kind of give it a 3D effect. And yeah, I don't know. I thought this one was really cool. It was really fun. And I went ahead and instead of having to go through the efforts of like painting two figures, cause like that's really complicated. I just kind of painted two silhouettes of a man and a woman dancing on the balcony. And I don't know, I really like this, the way that they kind of blend in with the blues and the purples in the sky. I really like that choice. And I don't know, I look at this painting and it just, it's a beautiful painting. Like I just love the colors. I love the atmosphere. And I think it did the job for what the task was. But in grade 11, like I said, we were keeping it pretty basic. So anyway, let's go over to in the end of grade 11 when we started doing something a little bit more interesting and a little bit more thought provoking. So in my last term for my last assessment piece of grade 11, I did this painting. Yes, that's a booty. <laughs> I love this painting. Okay, this painting was painted at a really, really dark point in my life. So basically at the time I was living at home and you guys know I've spoken a little bit on my channel about like how I kind of had a rough childhood. I moved out of home when I was 17 and I was just miserable in my last two years of high school. I was so depressed. I barely left my bed when I was at home. I barely ate. I was so incredibly skinny at the time. Um, I was just miserable. Anyway, so on a more lighter note, <laughs> I just decided to go ahead and paint this painting because I think the task at hand was to paint something that was like a personal issue. I don't know. So I decided to go ahead and do a painting about mental health. So this painting is about like depression and anxiety. So as you can see, it's a guy and he is naked falling from the sky and he's being attacked by crows. So to kind of like give you a little bit of some perspective, I wanted to go ahead and paint someone falling from the sky because the idea of falling from the sky just shows the lack of control because at the time I felt like I had literally no control over my life. I felt like I was just sinking and falling and I felt like I was plummeting, but like I was never hitting the ground. I just kept falling and falling. I don't know. It it was a dark time. I feel like I sound like such an edgy time latin right now. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and make him naked as well because when you're naked, you're vulnerable. I don't know, pretty basic thinking, but I decided to make him naked when he was falling as well. And I painted him all gray and blue because I kind of wanted to show how all of the color was void from his life. So this painting is like very almost monochromatic, but it's got blue tones to it. But obviously it's got a very somber atmosphere. And then he's got the bandages on him because I wanted to kind of touch on how at the time, a lot of people didn't really take mental illnesses or mental struggles that seriously it was almost like oh well if you don't have like an injury you're not hurting you know it sounds so cheesy now that I'm saying it but at the time I thought it was really deep and then we have kind of the cloudy sky because one I just love painting clouds and two because I was putting him in this cloudy storm just to kind of show how at the time I felt so clouded basically I felt like I was stuck it feels very encapsulating like you can't see any light through these dark clouds it's just all consuming and then I decided to go ahead and have all of these crows attacking him because I was really scared of birds in high school because in Australia we have really intense birds that like like to swoop you which is where they like basically dive and like try like hit you in the head and I once got attacked by a bunch of birds I think it was during spring and they it was like mating season or whatever and I was riding my bicycle and I kid you not I got swarmed by tons of magpies and all these birds and it was one of the most terrifying experiences so from that point onwards I was really scared of birds I'm not really anymore but these birds were basically a representation of my fears and my anxieties because you know, I, I chose crows, even though I've never been sweet by crows, but like crows are dark and like the bird of death or whatever. So it's like all of my anxieties and fears are attacking me. You know, now that I'm thinking about this, me describing this sounds super cheesy and cringy, but I really love this painting. I feel like just all of those elements combined, I feel like you can look at this painting and really feel what I felt at the time. Like to me, I look at this painting and it takes me back. And obviously I know I'm the one who painted it, but I don't know, I just, I love this painting. It is depressing, but it's, it's beautiful as well. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Alrighty, so this next painting is probably one of my favorites. I mean, I love them all, but like I have some that I like more than others. And this one I painted in my first semester of grade 12. So my final year of high school. Y'all, I really don't remember what the task was, but basically I wanted to go ahead and create a painting about how I was feeling at the time. So at the time in grade 12 is when everybody's wanting to figure out what they want to do when they finish high school. Everybody's applying for universities and making their decisions. And I felt a lot of pressure. I had, you know, pressure from myself, me 
been asking myself all the time what I wanted to do. Teachers asked me what I wanted to do. I just felt so much pressure, which obviously I'm sure a lot of you can relate to because when you finish high school, everybody expects you to have your life figured out, expects you to know what you want to do and choose a degree that's going to like plan out the rest of your life. So this painting basically represents that. So at the time, I've kind of always had dreams and nightmares. Like my whole life, I always have nightmares and dreams about like things that I'm worrying about or things that are on my subconscious, even to this day. And at the time, I was very stressed. So I was having a lot of them. So this is basically supposed to be a dreamscape. That's why in the picture, I'm actually sleepwalking, which fun fact, I used to sleepwalk as a kid. Um, I hope I don't anymore. But then again, I might because I live alone. So who would know? interesting but he is in a enchanted forest with all of these animals with three eyes so basically that's all about like the third eye which is the eye that looks into the future <laughs> because i'm worrying about my future <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> I also have all of these eyes in the background like that are in the darkness. There's basically just eyes all over this painting. There's eyes in the darkness, eyes on the animals, eyes on the trees. And it was basically just to show how I felt like I, everybody was watching me to see what my next move was. And all the trees are yelling because I felt like I had so many people in my ear. Like I would have my biology teacher be like, you should be a doctor. And then my legal studies teacher be like, you should be a lawyer. And like everybody just had an opinion on what I should do. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah, so that's basically how I felt. And as you can see, I'm sleepwalking and I'm about to take a step and I'm about to plummet to my death which is a little bit dramatic but I think you guys can gather from this video that I am quite a dramatic person but as you can see at the bottom of the painting there's five different paths that he can take and that's basically just to show how I had all these options but I was so focused on the future that I wasn't focusing on the present so he's walking towards these paths trying to make a decision but he doesn't see what's right in front of him and he's about to like plummet so that was basically me worrying about my future but not dealing with my present <laughs> I feel like I'm describing these so badly but basically this painting was all about how I felt a lot of pressure in my last year of high school and I felt like everybody was watching me. Alrighty, so my final painting, which was my second to last assessment piece that I did in grade 12, because I did have one more, but I got rid of it because I hated it. Um, this painting. So this time we had to do kind of like a social issue on a broader scale. So I decided to go ahead and do this painting, which was all about how people are obsessed with their phones and social media. As you can see, there is this couple and they're at a beautiful candle lit dinner in one of the most romantic places in the world, Paris. We got the Eiffel Tower in the back around there and yeah it's just basically just a beautiful landscape of Paris with this couple sitting at a beautiful dinner but instead of appreciating this beautiful place that they're at and each other's company they're both fully consumed with their phone the guy is scrolling through social media on his phone and the girl is taking a selfie and as you can see there are these veins that are coming from the phone into their arms it's basically just supposed to show how attached we are to our phones and how we rely on them so much and depend on them so much and them almost like a part of us like a second limb so that's why why the veins are connecting into the phone and almost to kind of show how our phones and social media can like validate us and I don't know I was just trying to be deep whatever <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it this one's a pretty simple meaning but after that we had to like do another artwork that worked off of that but it was basically just a broken laptop that I had and I created a mold of my hand and then I filled the mold with silicon and created a fake hand and then I shoved the hand through the bottom of the laptop with all these different wires that were supposed to be the veins sticking into the hand and it was really cool it was a super impractical thing to keep because it was really sharp like because I ripped open the laptop and used parts of it to sh like look like it was coming out with the hand so there was like a motherboard and all the sharp shit cut myself so many times making that but unfortunately I don't have it anymore but anyway guys those are my paintings glad I finally made this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below which one of these paintings is your favorite and yeah if you are in high school or college or even if you're not I encourage you to be creative in any shape or form it's so therapeutic i'm definitely going to try get back into painting this year because all of these paintings were painted two years ago i've really not been that artistic in the past two years and i really want to get back into it i have this cute little balcony in my new apartment i want to put an easel there get back into painting and if i do that i will make a couple videos for you guys about it maybe like a paint and chat or something but anyway guys that's it for me in this video i hope you enjoyed it and as always i hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world catch you in the next one bye oh.